I got this uh, 12 volt power supply with the RGB strip, the really really cheap one for 4 bucks. This came in the package and it says that it can output 2 amps. Well, I measured it and it uh, the consumption at the plug, I mean the AC, uh, it doesn't go above 6, maybe 7 watts. So, on the DC side it outputs significantly less because we, these things are usually like 80% uh, efficient or 70%. So it's not 2 amps, it's maybe a quarter of that. And I just want to see it, what's inside. In the previous video I talked about how empty it feels, how, how light it is. So there's probably a 500 uh, milliamp uh, electronics inside. But I want to see, so just to make sure. Let's try to open it. Oh, you just... Oh boy, this is too easy. You just break it open like that. Oh, so the other way. This on top, okay. So you just reach in, stab your hand. And out it goes, comes whatever. Oh! <laughs> oh boy this is so funny this is really really funny <laughs> i said it was empty <laughs> okay so let me show you another power supply i had one here where exactly is that this this is a 2 amp, a real 2 amp uh, power supply that just burned down. It's uh, about 10 years old and look how much stuff it has inside. Like protections and converters and uh, transformers and uh, whatever. So that's how 2 amps look like. And this... <laughs> okay, let me see. So it has a model number, they didn't bother putting in a LED, but I can mount one, yeah. <laughs> and it pulls out like that, okay. So a transformer, a diode, and two capacitors, oh and a chip, okay. Two chips. Getting serious around here, so let me just try to focus on it. Ooh. Like that. Oh. How? Oh, like that. So it's LP3657BFN83. And the other one. MB10F that's a simpler thing I don't know what it is I'm not an electronics engineer but it seems to have some damage under it it's a pad I don't know what it's doing there but whatever so what uh, do I want to look up I want to look up this part number on Google you can Google it yourself but let's see so JSY 0005 let's say it's a 12 volt adapter Wow. No, it didn't get anything. The part number is not found, it just lists some uh, some 12 volt adapters. So let's uh, 
Let's try the other part number. I mean the whole number with the two two zero two zero zero three twenty nine. No such thing. Okay. So let's search for the the chip. Uh, upside down. Wait. How can I focus in on it? No. At least I see it this way. Oh. So. LP. 36. Six. Six, six, seven, and it's not a B, it's, or is it a B? Google suggests that it's a B. With a space, let's see. Oh, I got the... Wow. I got the schematics for it. Not connected, not connected. No, it's a simple voltage re regulator. Yeah, it's used for uh, USB, I mean for 5 volts too. So this is interesting. Uh, it says 0 0.8 power factor or amps. Let's see. Yeah, the 5 volt version of this power supply can only do uh, 1 amp. So that's, that's what I've been noticing. 1 amp on 5 volts would be uh, 6 watts. Yeah, 5 watts and that's, that's all it can do. So yeah, <laughs> this was really funny. This was a funny experience. This can't run the RGB. How do I put it back? Oh, it's such a bad, yeah, this, this really sucks. This is not appropriate. In the next video I will take apart and measure this this guy the RGB controller